I didn't quite get Rusty's harness on right. <laughs> We're doing the best we can. We're all doing the best we can. No surprise there. Some really cute stuff is going on in here. What were you saying? Yeah. I Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> of course. What were you saying? Coo, coo, coo. 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 Little Boo Bear, what were you saying? Coo. Did you see your kitties laying with you? It's your kitty kitty. Right here. Coo. 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 Here, cat got your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. Uh -huh. Iris, Iris, Papyrus. She keeps wanting me to put her belly. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, clearly. Mm -hmm. Iris, that is adorable. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're the two best friends that anyone could have. So there's a lizard stuck inside, like between the window and the screen, and these guys have been parked here all day. At one point, I didn't have the blinds up yet, they were down but open, and Rio was completely in between them with her hands, or her paws I guess, on the window, like trying to get the lizard. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, you want him? Get him. Pretty entertaining. Yeah. And we are trying something different today. It's been, the last couple of days, the naps have been a little bit quirky and it was just getting frustrating having one of them finally go down and then the other one woke them up when they got up from their nap. So we decided to get blackout curtains for Brad and I's bedroom upstairs and nap Lyndall in there since she naps in her rock and play and then Bear is in the nursery. And so I just have a sound monitor on Lyndall the video monitor on Bear, and I just ordered another video monitor so we can watch both of them, and it's gone really well. It's just like, even if it's not better for them, it's better for me, because I am avoiding the frustration of like just getting one down and having them wake each other up. So it's gone well. I think it's pretty common for twin moms to separate them during naps. So we'll see how it goes. It's the little wonders in life, isn't it, Bear? Like a ceiling fan. Oh my goodness. You act like you've never seen that ceiling fan before. Do you love it? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty awesome. So we are on day, what is this, like day 23 of our Peloton challenge. We're on this day right here. Not very many to go. Yeah, 22, 23. Making dinner. And Brad's squeezing in his Peloton ride. You gotta do what you gotta do. Is that good? Linda loves it. <laughs> Sun's kind of in her face. That's better. That's better. Yeah, girl. Is this part of her TV time? <laughs> Does this count since you have help? Yeah, that's true. Yep, this is her screen time for the day. You go, girl. <laughs> we might have the first time they're acknowledging each other. Boop, 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 boop. Hi, Lindell Junebug. It looks like he's looking at her. Uh-huh. She's looking at him. Looking at him. Looking at her to see if he's looking at him. Looking at you. Looking at me. I'm looking at you. 
to see if you're looking at me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Then we're really gonna have to separate you two for naps. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh, you're just so cute. Get those little piggies. Let's see them. Let's see the little piggies. Look at those little piggies. Oh, they're so cute. Mm -hmm. It's your sister. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I scared her. For life. So we call it Groundhog Day around here. Hold on, let me turn off my Greatest Showman soundtrack on Pandora. Groundhog Day around here because it feels like we do the same thing over and over and over again. We read the same books, we sing the same songs, play with the babies, put them down for a nap, feed them, same thing, over and over. But our new Groundhog Day is do all of those things plus scramble to get the house cleaned for a showing. Um, but this is our very last showing. I say that because this is gonna be the time that our house sells. I have to have like the power of positive thinking here because this is so much work to get out of the house that I can't do it for nothing many more times. So anyway, we've got the house looking pretty decent. I have left this little station here with the baby's favorite things because they'll have one more playtime before we get out of the house. Car seats are ready to go, diaper bags ready to go, Rusty's ready to go, he always comes with us. And the house I think is looking pretty dang good. Of course, since we're having a house showing, the gator has been hovering right outside. Um, he's literally been like floating around right there in the water, which is not that big of a deal. Um, it's so funny, like it's really obvious to me that different regions of the country have different wildlife because of all of the comments we get about like relocating the gator or just doing something about the gator. Um, there, are, there are natural wildlife here. So if there's water in the south, there's a gator in it. You kind of assume that. Our neighborhood has ponds all around it, like all over in the neighborhood and there's marsh surrounding our neighborhood. So there's just gators everywhere. Every pond has a gator. There's some huge ones. The one in front of our house is actually pretty small. Just this entire region of the country, like if you are buying a house here, you assume you're gonna have gators as part of your wildlife. So it doesn't really make sense to relocate it. If someone's purchasing this home, they should know that already. So it's not, it's not like a, a hit to our house or a thing like an item that would make it not sell. So we're not worried about the gator. Um, so the only negative feedback we've had on our house is that we don't have a powder room downstairs, which we didn't love about the house either, but our laundry room could easily be converted into a powder room. In fact, we almost did it, um, but it just, it wouldn't like increase the value of the home much more. It just may make it more enticing for a buyer, but that's something that the agent could mention is that you could easily transform that into a powder room and take care of that problem. Um, the other thing people didn't like is that the back alleyway of our house is gravel. That's like where you park. But literally the entire neighborhood is laid out that way so that like the curb appeal is enhanced because there's no driveways and garages visible like when you're driving down the streets. It's just cute home fronts. So every, I mean, you're not gonna find a house in the neighborhood, I don't think, that doesn't have like a gravel alleyway. So fortunately or unfortunately, um, the negative feedback are things that we can't really change about the house. So, oh yes, I gotta put my name up here on the Peloton challenge because I took care of my ride. Um, the babies took an excellent first nap. In fact, Bear's still sleeping. Well, he's starting to wake up now. Uh, he has been asleep for two hours and 15 minutes, so that's really, really good because we're gonna be out of the house for their second nap. So I, I was like praying that they would take a good first nap and he definitely did. He's needing a lot of coaxing to link together his sleep cycles, but I think he'll start learning to do that better on his own. And Lyndall's been down for about an hour, so hopefully she'll stay asleep a little bit longer. So that's what we're doing today, just another Groundhog Day. All right, everybody's ready to go. 
Everybody's got our loveys, clean diapers, full bellies. We're happy. Bear, we're happy. Uh. Five minutes to spare. I didn't quite get Rusty's harness on right. <laughs> We're doing the best we can. We're all doing the best we can. <laughs> and guess who is joining us for lunch? I wonder if you can even hear me over the wind. If you can even hear me over the wind. Man, this is like a wind tunnel. I'm gonna eat some Jimmy John's while we wait for them to buy our house. Hey guys. You look adorable. Yes, you do. Little rosy cheeks. You guys want some Jimmy John sandwiches? Kissy, 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 kissy. Kissy, kissy, kissy. I'm gonna kiss you, kiss. Kissy, kissy. Lando June. Lando June. Hi, pretty girl. Yeah. You having fun in this adventure? Welcome to the vlog. Not allowed to kiss in uniform. Oh shoot, just broke the rules. Aren't you supposed to have a cover on too when you're outside? Not if you're under cover. Phew! That would be awful to break two rules in one clip. Did you hear that? Oh my gosh. Lindell? I just said do something cute and Lindell shipped her pants. <laughs> and it was very convenient. You just shipped your pants. I should enunciate that better. Shipped. Uh, yeah. Or, or the other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was my favorite. Was that a Super Bowl commercial or just a regular? Yeah. It's like Kmart. I shipped my pants. I shipped my nightgown. I shipped my onesie. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can giggle now. You can giggle now. Hello. Jeez. Okay, hold hands. Like you love each other. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Get you over a little bit. Kissy, kissy, kissy. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. 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 Look, they're all hands. Oh, yep. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even orchestrate that one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those little leg rolls. Mm-hmm. That's a cute little leg. That is a cute little leg. His legs are pretty cute too. And busy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hi, Lindo June. Looking right at the camera. Mm -hmm. You're a natural. Goo. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? She's so pretty. She's so pretty. <laughs>